The costodiaphragmatic recess, also called the costophrenic recess or phrenico-costal sinus, is a potential space in the pleural cavity. At the posterior most tips of the cavity, located at the junction of the costal pleura and diaphragmatic pleura, it measures approximately 5 cm vertically and extends from the 8th to the 10th rib along the mid-axillary line. Function The lungs expand into this recess during forced inspiration, however, the recess never fills completely. During expiration, it contains no lung tissue, only pleural fluid. Clinical significance. Pleural effusions collect in the costodiaphragmatic recess when in standing position. A thoracocentesis is often performed here while a patient is in full expiration because of less risk of puncturing the lungs and thereby causing pneumothorax. Imaging in anatomy. The costophrenic angles are the places where the diaphragm meets the ribs. Each costophrenic angle can normally be seen as on chest X-ray as a sharply pointed, downward indentation between each hemidiaphragm and the adjacent chest wall. A small portion of each lung normally reaches into the costophrenic angle. The normal angle usually measures 30 degrees. Pleural effusion with pleural effusion. Fluid often builds up in the costophrenic angle. This can push the lung upwards, resulting in blunting of the costophrenic angle. The posterior angle is the deepest. Obtuse angulation is sign of disease. Chest X-ray is the first test done to confirm the presence of pleural fluid. A lateral upright chest X-ray should be examined when a pleural effusion is suspected. In an upright X-ray, 75 milliliters of fluid blunts the posterior costophrenic angle. Blunting of the lateral costophrenic angle usually requires about 175 milliliters but may take as much as 500 milliliters. Larger pleural effusions opacify portions of the hemithorax and may cause mediastinal shift. Effusions greater than 4L may cause complete opacification of the hemithorax and mediastinal shift to the contralateral side.